horses running from helicopters, breaking their legs, getting separated from their babies. People have no idea that this is happening. Currently, there are 50,000 plus wild horses and burrows in holding facilities. I was like, let me just take the most in need three strike Mustang. People said she was too small, she had an ugly face, and she was pigeon toed in the back. She ran through three different adoption events, and then they branded her with the three strike brand on her neck. When she got off of that trailer and into the stall, she became way more than just a number to me. <laughs> She'll never be a number again. <laughs> the first couple of weeks were really hard. That was mainly due to us being strangers to one another. It was a lot of just standing in her stall. When I turned my back, I was being vulnerable to her and I was letting her know, I am not going to attack you. You're in charge. Slowly but surely, she would creep up and then start sniffing my coat. And then she started nibbling my coat. Once I got the halter on her, we would go for walks in the woods together. She never really had a herd, so when she started following me, I was like, oh my god, like, oh, her herd, woo, I did it. It was like, oh, hey girl, how are you? It's been a while. They were so happy to be in each other's presence. They were running around, literally like Mustangs in the wild. It was so cool. They're just in a pasture, living their life for the circumstances that they were put in. They are literally in the best possible place. You can take the Mustang out of the wild, but you can't take the wild out of the Mustang. All of these people passed up this amazing, majestic creature. And now she's my best friend. And like, they missed out, like they missed out.